guys and welcome back to Always Remember Me. So we're just about to start our next shift at the ice cream parlour. Hey, Doris is here. Today we're seated morosely at the counter of the ice cream shop, my co-worker Lawrence trying to cheer me up. I nimbled meditatively at my chocolate ice cream cone, trying not to feel like my entire life had changed without my control or consent. Soon there came a tinkling, a, a tinkling? From the door, signifying that somebody else had entered. Oh, I see. The little bell thing. <laughs> I didn't look up, but from the annoyed look on Lawrence's face, I knew it was Hugh. Hugh? Oh, it's Blue Eye Guy! I knew we'd meet him soon! Hell yeah! Hugh is an immature boy that often hangs around with s around there. Some of my friends. He's always around me, but I'm not really sure what he wants from me. He wants to bang you, girl. Clearly. <laughs> oh, he's one of those guys. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. <laughs> Emmy, babe, what's cooking besides you? You stop. Stop! <laughs> That's not the time. <laughs> you looked from Lawrence to me and did a double take. Well, you don't look so good. What's wrong? Your dog died? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god, this game. I didn't reply and Lawrence gave him another dangerous sort of look. You seem to deflate a little. Oh, he looks sad now. No, seriously, what's wrong? Tell him, ignore him. I gotta tell him, I want that plus five. I gave him a baleful look and on a whim proceeded to recount the entire story. The date, the horrible way it had ended in a car crash and of Aaron's amnesia. Oh god. <laughs> By the time I was done, I was nearly in tears again. Nearly. Saying the whole thing out loud made it seem even more awfully true than it already was. Hugh stood there, mouth hanging wide open. It took a while for him to think of something to say, and when he finally did, it was a very serious, somber expression. Oh, God. Emmy, sweets, are you okay? I considered the question. He'd said it with so much concern that I felt quite touched. I gave him a small smile. Yes! Hell yeah! <laughs> Hugh is sure. I like Hugh. He's got cool blue hair and a horrific voice. Not exactly, but I'll be fine, I think. Thanks. Oh god. Oh god, my morale. When is it ever going to go up? Oh jeez. So it's Friday, so... Oh, it's only noon! Oh my god! Um, Let's go to the library. We need our new book. Borrow books. Yeah, and you folks arrived. I borrowed some. More wow. Um, it's afternoon. Can I? I can go to this place now. It's the town's biggest mall where everyone goes to do shopping. Let's go shopping. Why not? Ah, the mall. <laughs> it's so big and just packed with tons of shops. My favourite is the bookstore, of course. He used clothing shop. Whoa, what? If I want to pay him a visit, it's open every day from Monday to Saturday. There's also a nice restaurant. I want to get a snack or a meal. Oh my god, Hugh has his own clothing shop! Oh my god, I love that so much. Let's go to his clothing shop. Lastly, on Saturday and Sunday I can attend some art courses. Painting and clay are my favourites. They're a bit expensive, but they can really boost my stats. And they start in the evening. Saturday and Sunday, okay. Let's visit Hugh! Oh, I also have creativity! Whoa, why did I just get a plus one for nothing? Oh, that's awesome! Also, creativity is his stat issue. That's cool. Bring it on! He always likes to joke a bit too much, I'd say. Could be worse, though. <laughs> Morale plus five, yeah! Do you shopping? Morale up, buy items, energy down. Oh. Oh, I can buy an elegant dress. That must be for like a date for a fancy restaurant. Maybe I should like save for that then. I'll be able to use it to write a book in your bedroom. Oh, cool. Oh, I can buy stuff for Aaron. Better sleep. Oh, okay. Better results when cooking at home. Oh, this is cool. Did that actually waste time? I don't think it did. 
let's go to the park. Why not? The park is really so beautiful. It's a perfect place to relax away from the chaos of the big town. I can relax by taking a walk or reading a book, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Or if I'm in shape, I can do some jogging to increase my morale. Oh. Morale up. Random bonuses energy down. Let's go jogging. Why not? Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I couldn't concentrate on running. There were so many flowers around and birds singing. I didn't do much exercise. Oh, I still got some morale. That's okay. Park is closed at this hour. I guess you should go somewhere else. Okay. Let's go home. Unread books too. Oh, let's read a new book. Yeah. Bring it on! Bring it on! Had its ups and downs, but overall I liked it. Culture plus one, morale plus five, energy minus four. Hmm. So culture must be Lawrence if we're going the Hugh's creativity, Aaron's romance, and Eddie's discipline. I'm still not 100% sure that's a thing, that these stats like help you with certain guys, but I assume so. That makes sense, right? I'm not really sleepy, but don't want to disturb Grandpa. I'll get in bed anyway. Oh, okay. Coach plus one, mile plus twelve, plus six with you today. Hell yeah. Yay! Yay! Doing so well! Ah, oh, the weekend. I can relax and do anything I like today. If I really need money, I can still do overtime at the ice cream shop. Doing overtime during weekends brings in very good money. I don't need money. I don't want to go to work. I wanna go. It's Saturday, right? I wanna do some art classes. Can I do that? No. Oh, it was only in the evenings. Oh, let's visit Hugh anyway. We chatted a bit between customers, but he looked distant. Well, fuck you, Hugh. God damn it. Um. Oh, we we wasted a whole segment on that. Shit. Let's go. Noon, so bitchy bitch is going to be at the hospital, so that's no good. Let's go to the library and work on our blog. No. Writing. Yes. Yeah! Not my best effort, but I wouldn't be ashamed to read this in public. Yeah, we got more creativity. Damn, we we're, we're not good at romance or discipline, but that's fine. <laughs> oh my god. Let's, it's evening now. Oh, so let's go back here. Play modelling course, painting course. Morale, culture, creativity up. Morale, discipline or creativity up. Well, I'm guessing now we're focusing on culture and creativity, right? So, let's do some painting. Yeah, if I keep this up, I'll become a famous painter. Sure. Plus two culture, plus three creativity. Oh my god, that did cost 25 monies, but that's fine. Oh my god, look at our morale now. We're so happy. Oh. Need to go home. Need to go to sleep. Okay. Oh, look at this amazing shit. I didn't get any plus those. And a terrible nightmare. Ugh, shite. That's fine. Our morale is still, like, pretty good. That's no, no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we just had that. Sunday. So... I suppose we should pick a guy to focus on, right? That's how these games work. Because if we kind of just do like what I'm doing and focus on everyone, we're going to end up sad and alone. That's how dating sims work, isn't it? <laughs> so I say we go with my gut from the start and pick blue hair guy. So Hugh, even though he's a cock, <laughs> he owns some gay clothing store. That's fine. We're gonna go with him. And I think his status creativity, so So that works. Which means I'm gonna go Let's go to the gym. I've not been there yet. Gym is really cool. There are two big pools where I can practice swimming and several pieces of equipment I can use. Doing physical activity is a really good way to increase morale and discipline. However the gym is quite expensive. I can buy a one day ticket for the family friendly pool for five pounds but it's often very crowded by parents and their loud kids. And get access to the gym for 75, oh, I said pounds for dollars. Let's just call it money, shall we? Money's a month. Getting access to both gym and exclusive pool 
is a hundred monies a month. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't want to do those. Um, I need to do morale and discipline up. I don't really want to go swimming either, that's no good. Let's go back to the library and let's practice fighting. Yeah! yeah. Culture plus one. Oh, I didn't get any creativity though. Bombs! Let's read a new book. This is the last unbook I have right. Uh, unbook? <laughs> Unread book I have right now. I can reread my old ones, but I should really try to get new books from the library. You even better buy new ones at the mall. Oh, I don't want to buy them. I want to save my monies, really. But then tomorrow is Monday, so I can get a new one awesome. then anyway. Awesome! Mariah plus three, yeah! Okay, now let's go back to the mall. And, oh, we can eat. Alright, it's 15 bullets. I thought we'd be able to talk to Hugh. Oh no, he's not at work on Sunday. Mm. What can we do in the afternoon? Bitchy Bitch is probably going to be with Aaron. Let's just forget that. Let's go to here and let's... Let's relax. Yeah, yeah I sat in an adventure close my eyes listening to nature sound so relaxing. Plus two morale. Oh, I didn't get any random bonuses, what the hell? Right, it's evening, so let's go and take a painting Bring course. It Bring it on! Definitely not bad. I'm starting to get quite good at this. Oh, look at all those stats! Oh, painting is so good! Need to go home, need to go to sleep. Yeah. Again, no. <laughs> no pluses. Oh, God. I need to go sleep my left feet. Yeah! Right, it's Monday. Okay. Back to our ship. Yay, money! Yay, money! Oh, I got morale! Oh, this is going so well! As soon as my shift ended, I headed to the hospital with more books in my bag to see if they could help Aaron regain his memory. I don't I don't care about Aaron anymore. I'm going for you! <laughs> oh, that sounds so bad. When I arrived at the hospital, I went straight to Aaron's room with several heavy bags of books in my arms. Oh my god, who is that? What the hell? I was surprised to find quite a crowd gathered in his room. In addition to Abigail, his scornful ex-girlfriend, Osha, was there as well. Who the fuck is Osha? Oh, Aaron's father. He's a well-known and wealthy businessman who was often away on business. It must have been the first time he'd come to visit his son since the accident, since the scene I walked in on was rather emotional. Um, good morning everyone. Emmy. <laughs> I don't know what words to give him. Uh, you're back again. I was surprised by their cold reactions and saw by the mascara ran down Abigail's face that she had been crying. She still looked distressed, but I remained sceptical of the legitimacy of her reactions. She had been a heartless scam of a girlfriend when they were together, and I doubted that she had changed her ways at all in the time they were apart. <laughs> I still look pretty happy. At least he looked just pissed and sad. I brought some books for Aaron. He can't read them on his own. He'll get a headache. That's okay. I've learned to read to him. Abigail offered to as well. Maybe I should be the only one to read to him uh, until he's well enough to read on his own. What? Why? <laughs> if I may interject, I know I've been away for too long considering my son condition, but I can't uh, forgive you to read your own, Mrs. Emmy. The incident never would have happened if you weren't being so frivolous at night. What? What else do you mean? Yeah, I am. I don't know exactly what happened, but I do know that you should, you should have been more careful. Are you saying the accident was my fault? I can't really understand him. <laughs> You're the only one with him, so you should have been more thoughtful and said, putting you remember the real risk. You may not realize the fact that you were barely injured, but I've been suffering with great pain both physically and psychologically because of you. Oh, I felt almost dizzy at his accusations. I was terribly upsetting and hardly made any sense. I felt surges of several different emotions, mainly defensiveness and anger. I knew more than they did about what was going through. Since I had been here, I decided the entire time it was more real to me than either of them. And even the mere thought of the accident being my fault made my heart ache. After all that had happened, even I didn't believe that it was true, that was the very last thing I wanted to hear. Oh god, I'm angry. Tell them to stop talking about the accident. Tell them you're innocent. 
Again, I think we should be the bigger man here and just, you know. I was just sat there listening to all this happening. Let's just chill, push him to the side and give him his bloody books. I'm sorry this says us, but if you're that worried about him, then you really should be talking about the acid right now. Do you think he likes hearing about it all the time? I was just so much farther offended by my words. You don't have the right to say that. <laughs> As I said, I apologise if I'm being too blunt, but it's true. Yaston was exactly that, an accident. But as I said, it isn't going to help him at all if you two keep bringing this up at time and time again. You didn't be target with die you. What? Oh. You didn't talk that to your elders. <laughs> and just saying the truth. It's an important matter of discussion. Don't just try to brush it off. Anne's still in shock. Please be considerate of that. Oh, yeah, I've been the grown up here, bitch. Well, you're right that we shouldn't put any unnecessary stress on him. If you do want to talk to me further, let's do it elsewhere, okay? You should be just as considerate of his condition if you're so worried. Heh, <laughs> of course I'm worried. I'm his girlfriend. Very well then. Aaron? Yeah. <laughs> Look how sad he looks. I'm very sorry for bringing this up now. Please get adequate rest here so you can recover faster, my son. Abigail? What? She glared at me pointedly for when I questioned her. An apology? I'm not apologizing to you. I mean Aaron. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, honey. I don't realize I was doing anything wrong. Muttering a brief goodbye, Osha left the room without another word. Well, shit. That was eventful. Um... It's evening on a Monday. We need to go to library books. Shit, I almost forgot. Bow books. Yay! Yay. Well up. Um, sunset. Let's practice fighting. Shit. Had to read about the paragraph three times, but now, well, it still sucks. Shit. Then you get home. And you go to sleep. Okay. We didn't get a plus up with Alan. Oh, come on, man. God damn it. Oh god, I didn't sleep. Oh, I've got to go to my shift. Okay, fine. Yay! Ah, oh. <laughs> God! We need to boost our morale some more. It's noon. Um, let's go to the mall. And visit Hugh. Hey, Hugh! Yeah! Awesome! awesome. So it's about the latest fashion trends and he showed me some new clothes. Yeah. And now uh, we don't want to do any of that because we don't want to spend money. Let's go to the library and find some. Awesome. awesome! Yeah! More creativity. Now I'm gonna go back and Oh shit, it's sunset now. Oh no, that's fine, because we can't do the classes anyway on a Tuesday. Sunset, let's go home. And let's. Mm, around an energy arc. Around some stats up, energy down. Cook something. What happens in my room? I need different kinds of activity in my room if my morale is high enough, I can try write a poem. I can call some friends for a morale boost, or I can take a nap and recover a lot of energy. My own computer posts, I can't check emails, or do other things, but like trying to write a book. A new computer would definitely be a cool accessory to have in my bedroom, but they're so expensive. Okay, so let's write a poem. Yeah! yeah. This took a lot of time to get right, but I'm quite satisfied with the result. Yeah! Go to sleep. Okay, fine. Yay, plus one with you! Yeah. Slept really well. I dreamed I was in a world made of ice cream. Oh, adorable. My ship for the ice cream shop starts soon. Right! Once again, we're going to end it just before we start at the ice cream shop. We've done well again! We're now focusing on Hugh, we've got good creativity. I can't remember what my stats was with him, I think they're pretty high. We're getting there anyway. I mean, we get a free, like, one stat from, like, just going to talk to him, so that's good. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!